Today, let's talk about folding saws. So the first kind of saw that I want to talk about is this Baco Laplander. And many of you are familiar with this type of saw and it is recommended, used by a lot of bushcrafters, some with big names. And it's a good saw, but uh, I really don't prefer it. I, I don't like the way it cuts through wood and I think it catches on things. I really don't care for the black coating, even though it wears off some, gets a little smoother. And uh, I find it actually to be, it's not super heavy, but a little bit heavy for what I like uh, most of the time to carry with me. And uh, I actually made a list here. And this uh, Baco Laplander weighs 6.7 ounces on my digital scale. The next saw I want to talk about is this Gerber sliding saw. And this was Gerber Fiskers, uh, and actually this is made in Finland. And you can no longer get this, but this is my favorite saw. I carry this everywhere. I love the fact that it only weighs 3.4 ounces. It's literally half the weight of the other saws. It's got a rolling knob here, and you can slide it out. Um, they still make this type of saw. It has holes here and here. Uh, the handle's a little bit different, and uh, it is now made in China. So, uh, but this is the saw that I keep and carry in almost all of my situations. I like the light weight, like the fact that, that it uh, just holds up. It's very durable. I've actually used this saw quite a lot and uh, it's still super sharp. And one thing I like about it, as opposed to the Baco Laplander, is this saw only cuts on the draw stroke. So when you're pushing in, uh, as long as you're careful and don't shove it in hard and get it wedged, uh, it, it only cuts on the draw stroke, so it tends to not catch as much. And of course, it's super lightweight. Lay that down. Uh, now the third saw I want to talk about is the Silky Pocket Boy 170. And this is a really good saw. If you know anything about Silky, they are really well known among arborists. And this is fastly becoming one of my favorite saws. I've had Silkies for probably 12 years. And I really like this. It is a little bit heavy. And according to my paper here, uh, as I weighed it earlier today, it actually weighs 7.7 .7 ounces. So of the three that I've showed you, it's the heaviest. But it is very heavy duty, metal locking mechanism here. A nice heavy duty. Uh, rubberized handle, it's really good grip, does have a lanyard hole in the back and this is the 170, made in Japan, uh, taper ground uh, which means it's thicker at the teeth and thinner up here at the bottom so as you saw down through the wood it uh, goes a little easier, doesn't tend to bind as much and this silky saw also uh, just like the uh, one I showed you before, the Gerber sliding saw, it only cuts on the draw stroke. So literally pushing it this way, you do not feel the teeth till you pull it back and then it catches. So into the blade, into the wood rather, smooth, pulling back, it cuts. It takes a little getting used to, but it's not that big of a deal. The problem, of course, with all of these folding saws is that once in a while you run into a piece of wood or a log that has fallen across the trail, much like this piece behind me, that is much too large for your small pocket folding saw. So what do you do? Well, enter the Silky Saw Katana Boy 500. They do make a 650. It's a little more expensive, but this is a 500. Of course, they measure it uh, in millimeters. And so we'll pull this out here and give you an idea. This is the Katana Boy, and it has a locking knob here. You have to unscrew that for depressing the safety lever here, so you push down on that and it locks into place and then you fasten that back. So I'm going to step back here, you can get an idea of how large this saw is. And it is your standard silky saw, again, does not cut on the push stroke, but when you pull it you can really feel the teeth bite in. So I'm going to saw on this log behind me and uh, I'm going to time it and see how long it takes. Stand by. The diameter of this tree is approximately 11 inches. So let's cut through it and see how long it takes.
I'd say that's pretty fast. So total cut time on this log across my trail here was about a minute and a half, minute and 45 seconds, something like that. And you can see uh, the end of it there. It was a little bit rotten on the inside, but it was also partly living. And so that's a pretty good test cut of that saw. And uh, again, a very handy trail tool. Now the weight of this one, it's a little heavier. It's two pounds, 1.3 ounces. But it does come with its own carry bag. And uh, if you're doing some trail clearing or anything like that, I would highly recommend getting one of these saws. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time.